In Proposition 34, we proved that a parallelogram has the opposite sides congruent, the opposite angles congruent, and the diameter divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. To begin, we are given parallelogram ABDC with diameter BC. By definition of a parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are parallel. Therefore, line AB is parallel to line CD, and line AC is parallel to line BD. Now notice that the parallel lines AB and CD are intersected by line BC. As a result, by Proposition 29, angle ABC is congruent to angle BCD. And since the parallel lines AC and BD are intersected by line CB, by Proposition 29, angle ACB is congruent to angle CBD. Now looking at triangle ABC and triangle BCD, we can see that they share line BC in common. Since both triangles share a corresponding angle, side, and angle, then by Proposition 26, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. Line AB is congruent to line CD, line AC is congruent to line BD, and angle BAC is congruent to angle CDB. Now with the following two facts, we apply axiom 2 to attain angle ABC plus angle CBD is congruent to angle BCD plus angle ACB. And this turns out to be angle ABD is congruent to angle DCA. Therefore, we have proven that a parallelogram has the opposite sides congruent, the opposite angles congruent, and the diameter divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles.